Welcome to the Improve and Have Fun podcast. My name is Paul V. Perez, and on this podcast, I work on improving myself while having fun along the way with the hopes of encouraging you to do the same. And I do so by documenting my life and interests. We just finished came, coming out of seeing mm-hmm. Shang-Chi, the Ten Rings, the latest and greatest from Marvel <sighs> in the movies. You know, go around one time and just give our thoughts. Mark, you're up first. Like, what are your thoughts on Shang-Chi? Shang-Chi, this, uh, this movie was action-packed for me. Very deep story. I'm watching it. I'm watching it unravel. It, it's very climax, up-down, roller coaster. The action alone, just, I don't, I'm just, I was so wrapped up in the action. There was so much fight. There was so much detail. I'm just totally immersed in the movie the entire time. Jason, what are your thoughts on Shang-Chi? Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings was uh, was a fun movie. Really, really uh, entertaining. Lots of great kung fu action. Really, really good. I I love, you know, how it, the whole thing began, how they were just taken away from their normal lives and, and just was forced to, into this uh, whole thing. You know, we, we were kind of like uh, the Aquafina, like we didn't know what the hell was going on. And she, you know, for first she knew this guy f- from being her coworker as, as a valet at, at a hotel, and then and then all of a sudden all this stuff goes down. She didn't, she doesn't even think, know of him as a fighter, right? He's like, he's not. You have the wrong person. This guy, what do you think? He's a fighter. And then and then and then we find you know more and more out. And then the whole movie is like finding more out and more out. They go to Macau. The action was great there. And then we meet the father, and uh, I think overall it was an excellent movie. Very good, very good. I will be the first one to say I hate subtitles. I hate having to read. I want to watch the movie and enjoy it. The first five minutes was straight Mandarin, I want to say the languages. Yeah, it was Mandarin. And subtitles. Yeah. And I'm sitting there like, oh boy. I had to look at Jason. Jason said, listen, it's not the whole movie. I said, okay, perfect. So they give you the story, you know, about the, the, the water background about the Ten Rings anyway. And then we jump to present day, which I. What is the, the actress's name? Which one? The, the aunt? No, the best friend. Aquafina. That's oh. Aqu- her name is Aquafina. Aquafina. Yeah. Yeah. That's like the, the water. <laughs> <laughs> but spelled differently. I, spelled I am, exactly. I'm not a big fan of her humor. You're, you're funny to some people. It's just not me. It, it, her humor wasn't for me. It's a couple jokes here and there. I, I felt like it was ill placed. Even when he was telling the story about you know the whole thing on the plane. You jump in there with the, you know, oh, you know, you want some vegetable or meat? I'm like, wait, wait a minute, what's going on? I, I did, I don't know. I just, this is a little different than maybe Marvel movies have transformed in the past ten years or so. Where before it was like, listen, this is going to be some deep stuff. We're, we're really going to unravel. And now it's like, yeah, we're going to throw some comedy in there now. And you saw a little bit with that with um, Tom Holland and those Spider-Man movies, and now you're starting to see it more with just Marvel movies across the board. Where it's like, we're going to have a little humor in here. I think you were telling me now that like. Ramping it up to PG-13. There's some stuff said in this movie that is not age appropriate, for sure. Right. Generally, if it's Disney, you want it to be for all ages. My thoughts. I didn't think the movie was directly about him. Uh, I thought that the movie was about the family. About and, and the Mandarin. By the way, by the way, the Mandarin. <laughs> sorry to cut you off. Not we haven't said that yet. I forgot to say that. Um, the Mandarin was supposed to come out in Iron Man three, and that was all a, a trick played it upon was, us. Yeah, yeah. And then it, you know it was Ben Kingsley who the Mandarin Tony Lung got to pretend to it? be him. Exactly. Right. And then now in this movie he's finally showing up. Yeah. There's actually on Disney wow. Plus there's like a, a 10, 15 minute thing. I just saw it last night. It's called All Hail to the King. It's a story that happens uh, like before this movie. So if right. you go home and you see Disney Plus, look for All Hail to the King, and you'll see him King. talking to the, uh, the guy, the Ben Kingsley's character, Trevor, talking about the story of oh. how he ended up in this movie. I see. <laughs> and that's on Disney Plus right now. That's called cool. All Hail to the King. I just felt that the, the movie was very emotional. There were several times that I got choked up. Yeah. I think I'm very sentimental when it comes to things about like family and stuff like that. Are you adopted? No, no, no. Oh. Just like no, just like things about like what, like mother and the father, and that thing just kind of a lot of times just gets me. But it, it's very much about the family. <laughs> it's very much yeah. Uh, and the, for me, the main event was the father. He was incredible yeah, as yeah. an actor, and he's the one that a lot of times like I would see and just like when it, like I said all the things with the mother and the kids and the you left me and we need you and these things like I, and maybe psychologically maybe I like need more therapy like this was like an adventure this movie yeah it yeah. was a thing where like we're living our normal lives and then you're plucked out of it to go on this fantastical crazy adventure mm-hmm. and I, I also like and this is something that maybe I've seen in other kung fu kind of style movies because this is kind of like a martial arts movie is that sometimes the action is understated 
It's not like it's boom and explosive. And right. I felt that at times when it was like, you know, he was like battling like the dragons and, and like some of the action. It was just kind of like quiet and subdued. And I like that too, you know what I mean? Hmm. But I, I think as a whole, this is very, very good. This is probably the best Marvel thing that I've seen probably since like Spider-Man. The, the, when we went to go see Spider-Man, you know? Cause, far, like, far from home? Yeah, because all, all the other Marvel things have not been like super, like all the Disney plus Marvel stuff, I, I'm talking about... You mean they sim- haven't been epic proportions? Exactly. They haven't been like crazy, like the what ifs, the the three like shows that we got, Loki, WandaVision, and the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And like I said, even the what if series, they just haven't been like to that level. Even the Black Widow movie, this hasn't been to that like level, and I think this movie goes to that level. Hmm. There's something a little bit lacking in this movie for me. I don't know what it is. I, I still don't know what I'm hoping to. Uh, you guys talking like, maybe it'll come. It'll to come me. up. Okay. But yeah. there's something that's like a little bit lacking in this movie. In the beginning, Aquafina kind of was like, oh, this, she's a little bit annoying. But she kind of grew on me as, as the movie progressed. She did not grow. She on stays me. the same. Okay. She, I know <laughs> that. I know that actress. Yeah. Not she personally. She stayed the same. Yeah. She's literally the no, same. I mean, we've seen her in other things. Even in moments was, of seriousness, it was like. Oh, here she goes with her little one-two crack yeah. again. And I was like, oh. That's what she was there for. <laughs> she's hired for the she's, brevity. She's a, she's a comedian. Like, that's what she's yeah. there for kind of thing. I wasn't so like against like that they never like kissed or they never got together. Even though like it's in the back of your mind and the grandmother mentions like, why, is you, why haven't you guys yeah, gotten married? Yeah, what's up with that? Uh, there's a scene where the grandmother, uh, like Aquafina's grandmother in the movie is like, why didn't you guys get married? Or and that they didn't ever like kiss or anything like that. I think it's good because sometimes that breaks from the Hollywood trope. That, let's go around one more time and let's give our final thoughts and right, wrap right, this right. up. You know, <laughs> go for it, Mark. Um, are we giving our ratings or? Yeah, go on ahead. Go I for think, it. I think I this movie, I would give it a nine point three. Wow, that's wow. high. That's, that's the highest good. ever. That's really good. I, like I said, when I sat down in that chair at, from the start, mine is Aquafina. That's why it's not as high. Um, I, I was just fully immersed. I, I'm, I'm able to carry with the story the entire movie. It had enough action in there for me. Mm. There were moments where I even got choked up. I never got to a point where I was like, all right, can we get this speeding along because it's starting to lag? I never had that moment, for me anyway. It might have been a moment for one of you guys, but I, I just didn't have it. This movie kept me engaged the entire time. I think the actors were great. I think the action was great. I think You were wrapped up in the story. And- Absolutely. Would you see it again? Absolutely. Okay. I'd watch it I'd watch it a couple times. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what's up. Nine point two, that's yeah. that's really good. Yeah, yeah, it's really high. Jason? Yeah, so it was really good. This is the first uh, American production that that actor who played the Mandarin, Tony Lung, the you know, Shang Chi's father. So good. He wow. this is a, you know, I, I've followed him and seen so many movies of his but I didn't realize this was actually his very first American production because I've seen many movies, but of course they were all from when, because he's from Hong Kong. In fact, let me tell you one of his biggest roles ever. He played the Leonardo DiCaprio role of The Departed in the original Hong Kong version. Oh, cool. So he goes way back and, and, he, and he has a lot of great roles. So check him out, you know, IMDB him no, and, and, right, and, right, check, right. And, and check out a lot of his work. He, he does a lot of great stuff. I just, um, I'm just I'm just, I, I honestly thought he was the best part of the movie. Yeah, he was he, he was, was He was the best part of the movie. Like, everybody else was great. I just, piggybacking on your point. Right. He was the best part of the movie for me. You know what I mean? I, he was so good. And I, I kind of wanted more from the aunt. I don't know why. I wanted you to want see what? more from the aunt. I don't know why, but I yeah, wanted more. She's I love too. that actor. Oh, Michelle, Michelle Yeoh. I, that is my yeah. girl. Oh, I just, yeah. I don't know yeah. why. I was just like, please, I, I want you to break out and really take it from here. She, she's like, really good. Man. I mean, she adds, they add weight to the did movie. Did you see Super Cop? Uh, Police Story 3? Jackie Chan. With Jackie Chan? Jackie Chan? Because that's her breakout role. And she is amazing in that. The, the, the stunts is crazy. Anyway, let's get on. No, no. So, so I'm going to say it's a... Yes, no, you're right, you're right. I'm going to say it's an 8.9. I, I actually don't mind, and I think Aquafina is, is, is very talented and funny, so I, that didn't take away from her. And I, I like her show that she's done on... Uh, um, Comedy Central, it's called Nora, Nora from, Queens. from Queens, and then you know her other roles. And, but I understand, you know, she, she, the, 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 why some people may think she's annoying. But the thing that takes it down for me a little bit is, I think, you're, like what you're saying, like something is missing, and and it, I, just, I also can't kind of picture it. I have to like think about it and get back to you, like what it is, like something is missing from the whole thing to wrap it up really nicely. But all in all, it's a very good movie, you know. I, I just think like, like Simu Lu, like Shang Chi's character. I just don't feel like he took it as The full serious. arc? No, no, like the character okay. of Shang-Chi and like everything that was happening was very like heart-wrenching and right. very dramatic. I don't know. I mean, I'm just a movie fan. Right. But I don't 
feel like he anchored it down. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe, or I maybe got that too. I don't know. Like, or maybe you mean it wasn't written in the script? Like, you're not saying like no. He, like he's a censor. You know, like he's the one that like you have all these characters, and he's the one that has to kind of sell it to us the most. Right, right, right. right. And I just felt that the father did that. Y- you know what mm. did it for me? I'm going to agree with you. The and I did not see the whole film, but that climax at the end when he talks to his father right before his father is killed, and he says, "You know, Dad, you know she's not there." you know, get it out of your head, whatever, she's not behind there and everything. And it didn't seem as, the acting, it, his acting wasn't. As strong. As strong. I'd, I'd his father agree. blew him away. Yeah. yeah. His, his father, father was feeling away. it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I just think like, like these old, the older Asian actors in the movie, I felt like super Asian representation right. kind of. <laughs> and I don't, I'm not Asian. I'm not right. Asian. It could be anyone from any race, right? Like, when right. they're talking about it, like, let's say in Black Panther, like, when you meet uh, T'Challa's father, yeah. or even Chadwick Boseman's performance yes. in, in Black Panther, like, you feel like, I'm feeling this. You feel right. the pathos. You yeah. know? Right. And, like, with Simu Lu, like, I, he started going there, but he didn't, like, fully go there. Right. But, like, the anchor for me was the father, and he had, didn't have to be the anchor. He just was so good. He has the gravitas. Yeah, he was. And just, he needs more gravitas. This and, and you know what's crazy? is like the fact that if you can be such an uh, acclaimed actor in another country and you come to this other country and uh, maybe Ken Watanabe, like, right. as another right. example, like, that you don't even speak your own native language but you can come to another country and fuck it up acting-wise. Mm-hmm. And I mean fuck it up like, damn, I, I'm believing you right now. Right, then right, that just right. goes to show, dude, I can come to any language and right, right, fuck yep. it up. You know what I mean? And I got that from, I mean, Michelle Yeoh was good, too. Fucking up meaning in a good way. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like you come and you tear it up. Like, right, right. Like, yes. wow. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So from what I've heard, not that I've experienced this myself, but like when folks saw Black Panther, especially like African-American folks of color, they were like really like feeling, damn, it's like. Oh, it, yeah, I walked really out of there and everything. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like this really represented me. And I wonder if seeing this movie I kind of like I said I have no idea of anything but I, I can see a little bit like of how this as me being like not that I'm Asian but somebody saying I'm Asian and I really felt this film represented me like in terms of like the way things looked and the way like family was I mean but even though family I just want to make more folks, more people like yeah, it's yeah. going to be like oh, four. Yeah, I okay, really okay. feel this movie represented me I wonder if like Asian folks will come out and say that like I really felt like I was on the screen like maybe like some folks who watch Black Panther were like wow I feel like right, this right, deep right. pride you know that, that I'm being represented but as a whole this movie was very good I think Simu Lu was good but Tony Leung outshined the right. whole cast oh, yeah. and he was the highlight of the movie for me uh, this movie for me was like a it was like an 8 because the Fantasy Why eight? and the adventure. A flat eight? Why yeah, eight? Why eight? Why eight? Why eight? Wow. No, because the fantasy and the adventure was great, but I just felt like the main character was lacking. Does he have he wasn't the experience anchor. in other movies, or is this kind of one of his know, first he, big? No, this is his first big thing. Oh. Like, he was, uh, he's on this show. Kim's Convenience. Yeah. yeah, which is on Netflix. On Netflix. Too. But yeah. it's like a, like a comedy yeah. show. But I just, I just think he was supposed to be the anchor, and he wasn't. And this movie is not about Shang-Chi by himself. It's about his family. Right. It, it, I mean, the, it has the most flashbacks than any Marvel movie. This movie and has the, the most flashbacks. Is, that's a great point. Because right. the crazy thing is, like, I watched Lost. I enjoyed it. But <laughs> after a while, you're like, another fucking flashback. Uh-huh, and okay. this movie, <laughs> and this movie, you don't feel that. No, like, a good chunk of this movie is flashbacks. It's flashback, and I is. never felt, like, bogged down by them. Right. Like, I said, the flow of the because movie is great. It, because it has to do yeah. with the, 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 the arc. Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. In wrapping this conversation up. Uh, and th- which the question you asked was a fantastic question, Dave. Like, what is the character's arc? It's a thing of, like, right. he's running from his past and in hiding mm-hmm. to come to a point where, like, I have to accept myself just to even move further in my life. Because mm. that could have been the other thing why he just wasn't as a... He just stayed as a valet. Because, like, I'm trying to hide. Right. Mm. If other people see me, then they're going to discover that I killed someone in the past. Thanks for listening, and I will catch you on the next one.